between STEM activity, we are going to make two different types of kites. So here are the supplies you're going to need for this activity. If you are able to come into the library and pick up a kit, then you will have some of these supplies and some of these you will need to find at home. All right, so one of the first things you're gonna need is some string. Some light string will work nicely. You're also going to need some yarn and a paper plate. You're also going to need at least two popsicle sticks. They can be thinner ones than these, or you can use the thicker type. You're also going to need a paper bag. So conveniently, if you came and got a craft kit, you will have the paper bag as well. And then you're going to need some markers or some crayons or something to color with if you choose to do that. So the first thing we're gonna do is actually start with our paper plate. Now, you're going to need to cut a circle in the center of your paper plate. And depending on the type of paper plate you have, you can use um, some of the, the shapes that you'll find on the inside of the plate. So you can just cut around that area. So to do that, I'm just gonna poke a hole in the center with my scissors, and then I'm gonna cut. Now, don't cut too close to the edge. You probably want about at least two and a half to three inches all around the edge. Now, the next thing we're gonna do is if you happen to have a hole punch, then you can use a hole punch. If not, then we're just gonna keep using our scissors and we're going to make three holes. We're gonna put one up here at the top, then we're going to put one on either side. That was a little bit big. Try to be a little bit more careful than that. All right, then the next thing you can do is you can either color your plate or decorate it however you want. Make sure that if you use anything like stickers or um, tape or anything like that, that you're not making it too heavy. Then what you're gonna do is you're going to take one of your sticks and your string. You're going to tie your string to your stick nice and tight. If you wanna add some tape so it doesn't slide off, you can always add some tape or glue. And then you're going to just wrap your string around until you have a good amount. Remember, and you wanna make sure that you have lots of string so your kite can go really, really high. All right, so after you finish rolling all the string that you think you're going to need, you're going to cut your string, and then you're going to attach your string to your plate. So here's where you want to pick two of the holes that you have made and you're going to just poke the string through those holes and then you're going to tie the string back to itself. All right so here we have it then we're going to just tie the string together like so. Now the third hole you made is to make a tail and you can use the yarn for this or you can use the same string that you did and you can make the tail as long or short as you want. And you can add bows to the tail if you want or you don't have to. But this is where you can add some fabric and decorate your kite even more. All right. Then you have one kite ready to see if it will fly. Now for our second kite, you're gonna do pretty much the same thing, except for this time you're going to use a paper bag. So first you can decorate your paper bag, and then you're going to want to copy the same thing I did before with the stick. So you're going to take your popsicle stick and you're going to tie it again just like you did before, and then you're going to wrap it to the length that you think it should go. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a hole at the bottom of my bag with my scissors or whatever other tool I have. I want to make sure that it's kind of in the center as best that you can get. Then you're going to thread your string through the hole at the bottom of the bag. Now this kite is a little different because your twine is rolled up on the stick in the inside of the bag and the stick is going to keep it from flying away. And then you're gonna pull the string out this way when you put it in the air. So you can also embellish this one by adding some tails. All right, so as you can see here, there are two different types of kites. 
and I decided to go ahead and embellish my kite tail. All right, so now we're going to test our kites. First, we're gonna check the breeze. Breezy enough, let's see how they fly. didn't do quite as well as the plate but I see some potential try to play around with the designs a little bit and maybe come up with your own to see which one is going to catch the wind the best have fun 